Hello, I'm Kamal Takodra. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Ruby Switching Business Unit. In this 10.10 update, I'm going to be talking to you about IPv6 Security Enhancement Destination Guard. This agenda will cover an overview of Destination Guard, some details around Destination Guard, and some configuration and troubleshooting around the feature. Overview IPv6 Destination Guard. Let's get an overview of what IPv6 Destination Guard is used to prevent. So attacks or denial of services to unknown destinations can be exploited in IPv6 networks. Attacks can send packets to unknown destinations as shown in the diagram. The host on the left is sending packets to unknown destinations on this switch. This can cause a problem on the switch in terms of a cache depletion. If you look at the output below of a diagnostic for the neighbor discovery manager, we can see this output of the cache. We can see firstly the neighbor IP addresses that are being used to attack. We can see there's no resolution of the MAC addresses. And on the far right, we can see the incomplete state. This is causing a depletion of the cache and can quickly fill up with IP addresses in a V6 environment because there are vast amounts. This cache depletion is a negative effect of this on the switch. It can cause undefined behaviors, loss of legitimate communication, so we can use IPv6 destination guard to mitigate such attacks. So we will use IPv6 destination guard to mitigate ND cache depletion. Destination guard works with ND snooping and or DHCP v6 snooping, depending on what you're using in your network. Destination guard requires the inspection of the binding table that has been built in the switch. Destinations that are not stored in the binding table are dropped. We can see this in the diagram where the host is trying to attack the switch. However, on checking on the binding table, those destinations do not exist in the binding table. So those packets are effectively dropped and not allowed to enter the ND cache. This is supported on platforms 6200, 6300, 6400, and 8360. Destination guard details. Let's cover the salient features of IPv6 destination guard. Destination guard must coexist with ND snooping and or DHCP v6 snooping to be effective, depending on what you're using in your v6 network. Destination card requires the use of the binding table that was populated by either ND snooping or DHCP v6 snooping. The binding table must be populated prior to switching on destination guard, else drops will occur. Optionally, use snooping on trusted ports to learn legitimate sources to build binding tables. And I'll cover this in the config a bit later. 
Destination Guard can coexist with other IPv6 security features such as RA Guard, DHCP v6 Guard and IPv6 Lockdown. Destination Guard is supported on VSX topologies. Note, it's a VLAN feature and it's not supported on ports. It's also not supported on VXLAN topology endpoints. Platform supported for IPv6 Destination Guard are 6200, 6300, 6400 and 8360. Configuration and troubleshooting. Let's look at the, some of the IPv6 destination guard configuration examples. Let's look at a basic example first. When we're using ND snooping, you have to globally enable ND snooping. It's the first step. The second step under the VLAN context, you must also allow or configure ND snooping. And then finally, you add IPv6 destination guard on that VLAN context too. Let's look at destination guard with DHCP v6. So the first step is enable DHCP v6 snooping globally. Then under the VLAN context, step two, you enable DHCP v6 snooping for that VLAN and then add IPv6 destination guard to that context too. Let's now talk about an optional configuration on trusted ports. It's important to remember that ND and DHCP v6 snooping populates binding tables for untrusted ports only. For trusted ports, the binding table is not populated. However, for destinations of interest, such as server ports, we may need to configure and allow on trusted ports. We have a new command available to allow binding tables to be built on trusted ports. For ND snooping, we have the command ND snooping allow bindings on trusted ports. And for DHCP v6 snooping, we have DHCP v6 snooping allow bindings on trusted ports. Please note that the binding table entries must exist prior to turning on destination guard or your packets will be dropped. Let's look at some of the destination guard troubleshooting commands. Firstly, we have some show commands around IP destination guard, as well as some statistics as well, and as well as some debugs. So with the show IPv6 destination guard, we can see the VLANs that are configured for destination guard. Looking at IPv6 destination guard statistics, we can see the VLANs that have received unknown destinations, as well as the number of packets that are being dropped to those destinations. Finally, with the debug, we can have a look at the buffer and drill down on specific reasons and have a look at the attacks and what's been dropped and what VLANs. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and informative.